Welcome to a trip back in time to explore how old writings reveal secrets of a lost civilization full of mysteries. This video tells the exciting story of the Rosetta Stone, a special stone that helped people finally understand ancient Egyptian writing. We'll look at how it was found in 1799, how Jean-Francois Champollion figured out what the writings meant, and how important this stone has been for learning about ancient Egypt. We'll also talk about how it helps connect different cultures and the discussions about returning such historical items to their original countries. Come with us as we discover the Rosetta Stone's story, showing the cleverness of people and how it links our past to now. In the archives of history, few artifacts have captured the imagination and curiosity of the world like the Rosetta Stone. Discovered in 1799 by French soldiers near the Egyptian town of Rosetta, now known as Rashid, this remarkable stone slab would become the key to unlocking an ancient mystery that had baffled scholars for centuries. The Rosetta Stone is not just any piece of rock. It's a granodiorite steel, inscribed with a decree passed by a council of priests during the reign of King Ptolemy V in 196 BC. But what makes this stone invaluable is not just its age or the decree it bears, but the three distinct scripts that adorn its surface. Hieroglyphic, Demotic, and Greek. For centuries, the intricate symbols of Egyptian hieroglyphs lay dormant as a language forgotten, their meanings lost to time. Scholars and cryptographers could only guess at the stories and wisdom held within ancient Egyptian texts, with no key to decipher their secrets. The Rosetta Stone changed everything. Its discovery offered a tantalizing glimpse into the possibility of deciphering Egyptian hieroglyphs, thanks to the presence of Greek, a language well known to modern scholars. This trilingual inscription hinted at the potential to bridge the gap between the ancient and modern worlds, to unlock the wisdom of an ancient civilization that had remained silent for millennia. The significance of the Rosetta Stone cannot be overstated. It was the linchpin that eventually allowed scholars to crack the code of hieroglyphics, opening the door to understanding the rich and complex history of ancient Egypt. From religious texts to historical records, the deciphering of hieroglyphs has enriched our understanding of this fascinating culture, its beliefs, and its contributions to humanity. The Rosetta Stone is more than just a relic. It's a symbol of linguistic discovery, a bridge between the past and present, and a testament to the enduring quest for knowledge. As we delve deeper into its story, we unravel not just the secrets of ancient Egypt, but the very essence of human communication and understanding across the ages. Let's take a closer look at the Rosetta Stone, an artifact that's as fascinating in its physical form as it is in its historical significance. Measuring about 44 inches in height, 30 inches in width, and 11 inches in thickness, the stone presents a formidable presence. It's crafted from granodiorite, a dark, coarse-grained rock that has endured the passage of over two millennia, preserving the inscriptions that hold the key to an ancient language. The decree inscribed upon the stone was issued in Memphis, Egypt, in 196 BC, during a tumultuous period of ancient Egyptian history under the rule of the Ptolemaic dynasty. This decree, celebrating the coronation of King Ptolemy V, was so important that it was carved in three different scripts, ensuring its understanding across the diverse populace of the time. At the top, we find the ancient hieroglyphs, the sacred script of the Egyptian temples. Below that, the Demotic script, the common script of daily life and business in ancient Egypt, and at the bottom, ancient Greek, the language of the ruling administration after the conquests of Alexander the Great. Each script, representing a different stratum of Egyptian society, was crucial for the stone's ultimate decipherment. The presence of these three scripts together on a single stone provided a unique parallel text that became the linchpin for scholars to unlock the ancient Egyptian language. The Greek text, understood by scholars, served as a guide to decipher the unknown hieroglyphic and demotic texts, bridging a gap of understanding that had persisted for centuries. The Rosetta Stone, therefore, is not just a piece of rock. 
It's a mosaic of ancient civilizations, languages, and scripts. A puzzle that, when solved, would illuminate the rich tapestry of human history written in stone. Its physical characteristics, size, material, and inscriptions tell a story of cultural convergence, ancient politics, and the desire to communicate across the ages. With its granodiorite surface bearing messages from the past, the Rosetta Stone stands as a testament to the complexity and beauty of human languages and the enduring quest to understand our shared heritage. To fully grasp the significance of the Rosetta Stone, we must journey back in time to the era of the Ptolemaic dynasty in Egypt, a period that began in 305 BC following the death of Alexander the Great. This was a time when Egypt was a melting pot of cultures, under Greek rule yet deeply rooted in its ancient traditions. The Ptolemaic dynasty, founded by Ptolemy Isoter, a general under Alexander the Great, represented a fusion of Greek and Egyptian cultures. This era saw the Greek ruling class coexist with the native Egyptian population, each retaining their distinct languages and customs. The decree inscribed on the Rosetta Stone, issued in 196 BC, commemorated the coronation of King Ptolemy V. This decree wasn't just administrative. It was a political and religious gesture aimed at consolidating the king's power across Egypt, seeking the support of the priesthood and the people alike. But why inscribe this decree in three scripts? The answer lies in the diverse audience it was intended for. The hieroglyphic text spoke to the priests, the custodians of Egypt's religious and cultural traditions. The Demotic script was directed at the common Egyptians, the backbone of the nation's daily life and economy. And the Greek script communicated with the Ptolemaic rulers and their officials, a Greek-speaking elite governing the land. This strategic choice ensured that the decree's message was accessible to all segments of society, from the temples of the gods to the bustling markets and the palatial halls of governance. It was a unifying document, intended to bridge the cultural and linguistic divides of Ptolemaic Egypt. Thus, the Rosetta Stone stands as a monument not just to a moment in ancient political history, but to the complex tapestry of a society where multiple cultures coexisted and interacted. Its inscription in three scripts is a testament to the ingenuity of the Ptolemaic rulers who navigated the challenges of governance through inclusivity and communication. In this light, the Rosetta Stone is more than an archaeological treasure. It's a beacon of ancient multiculturalism, a reminder of the power of language and writing to unite people under a common narrative. As we continue to unravel its secrets, we also uncover the enduring legacy of the Ptolemaic dynasty in Egypt and the intricate web of human history it represents. The year was 1799, a pivotal moment in history, as the French, under the command of Napoleon Bonaparte, embarked on a military expedition to Egypt. It was during this campaign, near the town of Rosetta, that a group of French soldiers stumbled upon a slab of stone that would change the course of history. This was no ordinary stone. Inscribed with texts in three distinct scripts, it held the promise of unlocking the secrets of ancient Egypt. The Rosetta Stone, as it came to be known, quickly became a prized possession, symbolizing not just the scholarly ambitions of the French in Egypt, but also the broader European fascination with ancient civilizations. However, the stone's journey was far from over. Following the defeat of Napoleon's forces, the stone fell into British hands under the terms of the Treaty of Alexandria in 1801. It was then transported to England, where it found a new home in the British Museum, becoming accessible to scholars and the public alike. The Rosetta Stone's placement in the British Museum marked the beginning of a new chapter in the quest to decipher the ancient Egyptian scripts. Scholars from across Europe were drawn to its inscriptions, eager to unlock the language that had remained a mystery for centuries. Initial attempts to decipher the scripts were met with limited success. The Greek inscription was understood, but the hieroglyphic and demotic texts remained elusive. Scholars struggled to find a connection between the familiar Greek and the mysterious Egyptian scripts. This period was marked by intense study, speculation, and debate, 
as various theories were proposed and discarded. Among these early efforts, notable contributions came from scholars such as Thomas Young of England, who made significant strides in understanding the Demotic script and suggested that the hieroglyphs were not purely symbolic, but could also represent sounds. Yet the full deciferment of the hieroglyphic text remained just out of reach, a puzzle awaiting its key. As the 19th century progressed, the Rosetta Stone continued to inspire and challenge those who sought to unravel its secrets. It stood as a beacon of the past, beckoning the brightest minds to unlock the wisdom of ancient Egypt. The breakthrough, when it came, would not only reveal the secrets of an ancient civilization, but also herald a new era in the understanding of human history. Enter Jean Francois Champollion, a prodigious French scholar with an insatiable passion for ancient languages in Egypt. Born in 1790, Champollion was a linguistic prodigy, mastering multiple languages by his teenage years. However, it was the ancient script of the pharaohs that captured his imagination and set the course of his life's work. Champollion's journey to decipherment began in earnest in the early 19th century, amidst the backdrop of European fascination with Egyptology. With the Rosetta Stone as his guide, Champollion embarked on a relentless quest to understand the hieroglyphic script, building on the work of his predecessors and contemporaries. Utilizing the Greek inscription as a foundation, Champollion meticulously compared it with the hieroglyphic and demotic texts. His breakthrough came from the realization that hieroglyphs could represent both sounds and objects or concepts, a dual function that had confounded scholars for decades. In a moment of unparalleled scholarly triumph, Champollion announced his decipherment in 1822. He demonstrated that the hieroglyphic script was not merely symbolic, but phonetic as well, containing a complex system of alphabetic and syllabic elements. This insight unlocked the meaning behind the hieroglyphs, revealing the words and thoughts of the ancient Egyptians for the first time in over a millennium. Champollion's work was a testament to his extraordinary dedication and intellect. His deciferment of the Rosetta Stone's hieroglyphs opened the floodgates of Egyptology, transforming our understanding of ancient Egypt. Through his efforts, texts that had been silent for centuries began to speak again, shedding light on the rich history, culture, and religion of this ancient civilization. The impact of Champollion's achievement cannot be overstated. It not only solved one of the greatest linguistic puzzles of history, but also laid the foundation for the field of Egyptology. Scholars could now read the stories etched in stone and papyrus across Egypt, from the pyramids of Giza to the tombs of the Valley of the Kings. Jean Francois, Champollion's legacy is a bridge between the past and present, a testament to the power of perseverance and the pursuit of knowledge. His work on the Rosetta Stone remains one of the greatest scholarly achievements, a key that unlocked the wonders of ancient Egypt for the world to explore. The decipherment of the Rosetta Stone by Jean-Francois Champollion in the 1820s was a watershed moment in the study of ancient Egypt. It was as if a door had been unlocked, leading scholars into the vast, unexplored chambers of Egyptian history, religion, and culture. This breakthrough transformed Egyptology from a realm of speculation into a science grounded in textual evidence. With the key to hieroglyphics in hand, scholars could now translate countless texts across Egypt, from temple walls to the fragile papyri buried with the mummies. These translations opened up new vistas of knowledge, revealing the complexities of Egyptian society, their advancements in medicine, astronomy, and engineering and a rich tapestry of their religious beliefs. The impact of Champollion's decipherment extended far beyond the academic. It ignited a global interest in ancient Egypt, inspiring generations of archaeologists, linguists, and historians to explore the Nile Valley's treasures. This fascination has led to significant archaeological discoveries, enriching our museums and collections with the artifacts of a civilization that flourished thousands of years ago. But perhaps the most profound impact was on our understanding of the ancient Egyptians themselves. Through their own words, we've gained insights into their daily lives, their social hierarchies, and their interactions with neighboring cultures. We've deciphered the prayers they offered to their gods, 
the spells they cast for the dead to ensure their safe passage to the afterlife, and the hymns they sang to celebrate the flooding of the Nile. The decipherment has also allowed us to hear the voices of individuals previously lost to history, kings and queens, priests and scribes, laborers and artisans. Their stories, recorded in stone and papyrus, provide a direct link to our shared human past, offering lessons and insights that resonate to this day. The unlocking of hieroglyphics was not just a triumph of linguistic and archaeological scholarship. It was a moment that bridged millennia, connecting the modern world with the ancients. The work initiated by Champollion and continued by countless scholars since has transformed our understanding of ancient Egypt, making it one of the most studied and celebrated civilizations in human history. Today, as we continue to uncover and decipher the remnants of ancient Egypt, we are reminded of the enduring power of writing to transcend time and space. The Rosetta Stone and the efforts to decipher it stand as a testament to humanity's relentless pursuit of knowledge and understanding, a legacy that continues to inspire curiosity and discovery. Today, the Rosetta Stone resides in the British Museum in London, where it has been since 1802. It remains one of the most visited and celebrated exhibits, drawing millions of visitors from around the globe. The stone is not just an object of curiosity. It stands as a beacon of human achievement in linguistics and archaeology, a tangible link to our quest for understanding across cultures and epochs. However, the Rosetta Stone's journey and its current residence in the British Museum are not without controversy. In recent years, there has been a growing conversation about cultural heritage and the repatriation of artifacts. The stone, like many other ancient objects housed far from their country of origin, has become a focal point in discussions about colonial history and the ethics of museum collections. Egypt has repeatedly called for the return of the Rosetta Stone, viewing it as a critical piece of its cultural heritage. These calls are part of a broader movement advocating for the return of historical artifacts to their countries of origin, a debate that challenges museums and institutions worldwide to reconsider their roles and responsibilities. The debate over the Rosetta Stone and similar artifacts raises important questions about ownership, cultural identity, and the sharing of human history. It also highlights the potential for international collaboration in preserving and studying these treasures, ensuring they are accessible to all, while respecting their origins and significance. Despite these debates, or perhaps because of them, the Rosetta Stone continues to symbolize the potential for understanding between cultures, the shared human endeavor of unraveling our past, and the ongoing journey of discovery that connects us all. It reminds us that history is not just about objects and inscriptions, but about the dialogue they inspire between the past and present. As we move forward, the story of the Rosetta Stone is far from over. It remains a living testament to our collective heritage, inviting us to explore the complexities of history, ownership, and identity. How we respond to these challenges will shape not only the legacy of the Rosetta Stone, but also our understanding of what it means to share and preserve the mosaic of human history. As we have journeyed through the story of the Rosetta Stone, we've uncovered the layers of history, language, and culture that it represents. From its discovery in 1799, which captivated the world, to the groundbreaking work of Jean-Francois Champollion, who unlocked the ancient Egyptian language. The Rosetta Stone has stood as a testament to human curiosity and intellectual prowess. The decipherment of the Rosetta Stone was a landmark achievement, opening the door to a civilization that had been silent for centuries. It allowed us to hear the voices of ancient Egyptians, from pharaohs and priests to the common people, sharing their dreams, achievements, and daily lives across the millennia. Today, the Rosetta Stone is more than an artifact. It is a symbol of the enduring quest for knowledge and understanding. It reminds us of the importance of preserving and studying historical artifacts, not just for the sake of curiosity, but for the deeper understanding they offer us of our shared human past. As we reflect on the story of the Rosetta Stone, let us also consider the broader implications of our engagement with history. 
The preservation of cultural heritage, the ethical considerations of artifact repatriation, and the shared responsibility of safeguarding our collective memory are challenges that call for thoughtful action and international cooperation. The legacy of the Rosetta Stone extends far beyond its inscriptions. It challenges us to continue exploring, preserving, and sharing the rich tapestry of human history. Let us all be part of this ongoing journey, supporting efforts to understand our past and ensuring that the stories of ancient civilizations continue to inspire and inform future generations. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the story of the Rosetta Stone. May it inspire you to explore further, to question deeper, and to cherish the incredible heritage that belongs to us all.